YouTube for Realtors. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you step-by-step -step exactly how to create and design your real estate YouTube thumbnails with Canva. Today, we will be creating this thumbnail right here, which is also available for purchase in a bundle package on my Etsy shop. So do check it out if you wanna save even more time. Link will be in the description box down below and in the pinned comments. So let's get started. All right, my real estate brothers and sisters, here we are at the Canva dashboard, and we are gonna go up into the right corner here, create a design and canva makes it very easy for us youtube thumbnail click on that right here first things first let's go ahead and change the background color i'm going to switch my brand kit also mention if you have not set up your brand kit in canva i have a tutorial on my youtube channel which i will link in the cards above or in the description box down below it is super helpful so you don't have to search for your brand colors all of the time you have everything right here ready at your disposal to use so i'm gonna make this green now today we are using the pro version of canva because my favorite favorite feature of canva pro is the background remover and you need the pro version and again my affiliate link will be down in the description box down below if you would like to try out canva pro for 30 days for free so let's go ahead and use this image right here and i'm gonna click on the image edit image and we're gonna go background remover and very quickly canva's gonna do its magic like that you see that gorgeous hit apply and we're gonna go into the face retouch just a little bit we're gonna you know make you look good you know like that okay that's perfect now we are gonna do one more here we're gonna go in back into edit image and we're gonna go into the shadows now you can use the glow option here which i love using in my thumbnails but for this one we're gonna go with the drop shadow because i feel like it's very classy very professional i'm gonna bump up the transparency just a bit so you see the intensity of that shadow just a little bit more apply so now that you have all that ready to go what i recommend for people to do in terms of their profile picture is to always have it on the right side of the image because typically speaking when you are viewing your thumbnail in youtube the timestamp will be in this right corner here and if you have text over top or you have important text and that timestamp is blocking it, it could interfere with the message you were trying to convey in your thumbnail and we don't want that. So I always play it safe by putting my picture on the right or sometimes I'll put it in the center. But in this case, we're gonna put ourselves right on the right side, okay. Okay, now we are gonna go in and put in a photo here. So put a picture if your city, if you have it, but in this case, I'm just gonna grab a photo from Canva because Canva has stock images. We are going to replace the background and what we're going to do is click on the background and we are gonna go up into the right corner right here, the transparency, and we're gonna bring it down because I want that emerald green to come through because this is part of this brand kit here. So we're gonna keep it somewhere around 18. Let's go 15 just so you see it. Now let's work on the text, the most important thing. So when it comes to text, we wanna make sure that the text is bold, it's legible, and I refrain from using any sort of cursive text because it's very hard to read if you do that. So let's go here, we're gonna add in some text box here. And for this specific text, I always usually love to use Open Sans Extra Bold, and I like it caps. So we're gonna go cost of. So we're gonna do that here. Then I'm just going to duplicate this here. And we're gonna do this backwards, but your city name, so wherever you are, but I'm just gonna literally put your city. I'm gonna do that. And now we're gonna go into the elements. We're gonna grab a square and we're gonna create a box effect. So this is a great way to kind of break up all of this text so it's easy to read, easy to understand. And we're gonna make this white, and we're gonna do it like that. I'm probably just gonna make it a little bit more skinty. <laughs> and then we're gonna go and grab another text box, and we are going to change this font and we are gonna use, let's see here, S how do I spell this? Cyrillic Badoni. This the one, this the one. And I like 
this specific text in lowercase and we're going to change it to this this green color here no let's and we're going to put in here living in cost of forgot this cost of living in your city now we're going to bump this up like that like that very good very good very good and we're just going to fix up I'm going to drag all of this, my mouse, and I'm just going to go up to the positions and I'm just going to center it so everything is nice and centered. Now, we are going to add some fanciness, if you will. We're going to click the cost of text box here. We're going to go to effects and I'm going to hollow this out. I think that's a really cool effect, especially if you have the green coming through. And we're going to add some shadow or some lift to this text box here just to give it some more intensity, some dimension. I'm gonna do it like that. Now with thumbnails, I typically try to make the text as big as it's as big as I possibly can without really throwing off the image or the thumbnail per se. And I always like to use some sort of graphic to also emphasize what the text is. So in this case, I'm gonna go and search piggy bank because cost of living. So let's use this one here. I'm going to bring that piggy to the front. One last element I'd like to add just because we are going to make this branded and going to make it just give it a little bit more dimension. We're going to search for gradient circle. Nope. Gradient blur. Yes, gradient blur, one of my favorite elements to use. I am going to change this blur to this color here. And you know, I'm going to bring it to the front so I can properly resize it and not disturb any of this beauty right here. We're going to bump it up and I'm going to position this right here, kind of right behind me. And then what I'm going to do is position that to the back and this gives that nice glow effect you know that inner glow effect from within it really helps you pop out from your thumbnail i really like the look of that i'm just going to extend this just a little bit bigger just like that and it also shows a bit more of that drop shadow that we have here with the profile picture now last thing to add here is i'm going to add in some gold honeycomb abstract shape I'm going to change the color of this again to that nude color. We're going to bring it to the front so I don't mess up any of my designs. We're going to position this and this is just for added effect. This is part of this specific brand kit and style of this brand kit. I'm going to position it to the back so it's right behind my head. Do it like that. We can make it just a little bit smaller and I'm also going to, oops, I'm also going to make a copy of this there like that like that I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to put it right in this corner here just add some style some sauce some flavor make it interesting so it matches your branding so now that we have our beautiful gorgeous real estate youtube thumbnail ready to go we are going to download this as a png and i'm going to share with you a super fun very convenient quality checker so we're going to go into what's thumbsup.tv and we're going to drag our thumbnail and we're going to check out what it looks like in the different aspect ratios but first let's add in our in our title pros and cons of living in your city obviously put your city name let's go down here and we'll see our thumbnail in the various aspect ratios so this is the big large home screen probably on a desktop this is probably what it's gonna look like in mobile so as we can see the text is still legible your face is beautiful and you can also see on the side here what the text or title is going to be looking like well there you go friends that is how you create youtube thumbnails on canva super easy super simple and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and do check out my youtube for realtors playlist right over here to learn even more design tips and tricks i'll see you there